So quick demonstration of the sound and light trigger. Okay, so let me just go around the buttons. First thing we've got is the on-off switch. Then we've got a sense knob, which is going to change the sensitivity of it to the sound or light event that's going to take place. Delay, the delay between the unit being triggered and the flash and um, a button I refer to as the, the arm button. And um, the uh, just an indicator light, turn it around and we've got um, three sockets. S for sound, where we're going to plug in the mic. B for beam, where we're going to plug in the light sensor. And T is the trigger output, where we're going to connect the flash. So the first thing I'm going to do is set it up for um, sound. So plug that, plug the microphone into the, um, the S socket. Uh, turn around and switch the unit on. Now the first thing I'm going to do is set the sensitivity. See if I turn the sensitivity right up to full, it's picking up some background noise and it's basically firing the unit uh, constantly. Um, so I just need to back that off until we get the light going out. There we go. And you can fiddle with this and just try and get it as sensitive as you can. You can see there a little bit it's picking up my voice as I'm talking. And so we're uh, we're pretty good. And if I do it, you can see the light flashing there to show it's being triggered. And this is test mode. So in this mode, just set it up. Um, test what you're going to do and check that the light flashes and it's actually triggering the unit. Next we're going to connect the um, the flash. First, I'm, for this demonstration I'm going to start off with the delay turned down to zero so it fires instantly. So let's make sure, let's switch the flash off, plug it into the uh, the T socket, uh, switch the flash uh, back on and just check that's um, it's charging up. Let's give me a test fire, yeah there we go. Okay. So next thing I'm going to do then is, is actually do um, do a, a trigger of the flash. So now I need to tell it that the next flash I do, I want it to actually fire the flash. So I press the arm button, and then I trigger the unit, and it flashes. Just do that again, and uh, there we go. And so let's do it with the delay now. Turn the delay right up to full. Um, arm button, one, two, three, flash. Um, it's, so this is, it's about three and a half seconds uh, time delay. Uh, it's not calibrated, just need to uh, to set it and, and do it a, a little bit by trial and error depending on the event that you're actually trying to do. And obviously of course you can move the distance between the microphone and uh, what you're doing as well. So I'm just going to show you one more feature before I change over to light and that is just the, uh, the power reminder. So if I am just uh, leave it for 30 seconds without being triggered. So the light comes on. Light comes on to, and it's just as a power on indicator. Obviously I've triggered it straight away again there by talking, but uh, if you leave it for 30 seconds the light will come on and stay on until it's triggered and when it's triggered it will go back into test mode. And that just comes on as a, just as a reminder um, that, uh, that the power switched on. So let's change over to um, the light sensor now. So take that off. Plug the light sensor in. And now here I've got a lamp on up here. You can see the shadow there. So I'm now going to point it towards the lamp, and as you can see there, that even though I haven't got an actual beam of light, it's reacting to changes in the light. So this can react to um, to any sort of significant change in light. So if I turn it around just to the uh, the ambient light, it's, it's not triggering. I can cover it over. It's not triggering. It needs some some contrast in light to get it to trigger. We'll try to think if I do. Um, I just give this a test. Flash, you can see there that's enough to trigger it. So it can be used as a as a, a remote uh, flash sensor as well. <clears throat> so now I'm just going to stop this a minute while I set up for for the light beam. Okay, set up for beam now. You can see I'm just using a builder's level, um, one ninety nine off eBay, and all I've had to do is take the lens out so it gives a spot instead of giving a, a beam um, a, a line that a builder was used would use to get a level. So I'm just put that there. You can also see here the, um, the the laser beam reflecting off the end of the light sensor. You need to get quite a firm setup here. Any wobbling will cause it to trigger. And if I just now put my pencil through the beam, you can see there it's triggering the unit. 
Another thing I've done is is put the extension lead on here, just a 3.5 millimeter jack extension lead, so I've got a bit more room to position my flash. And the other thing you can do is to uh, same thing for your light sensor, put on an extension lead, so that you're not uh, every time you touch the unit, you're not risking breaking the beam. So now let's do um, the fire. So again, just check it's working. I'm going to arm it, and next time I break the beam, flash. Let's do it as fast as I can this time. Arm it and and flash. I've actually fired an air rifle um, pellet through the beam, and it will react to that, so it is very sensitive. Right, set up to do um, a remote shutter release. So back onto um, back on on the sound trigger, and what we've got here is just uh, a remote cable shutter release that I've modified to put in to put on a 3.5 millimeter jack to go into my output. So that just um, plugs into there, and of course then round into the the shutter release on the camera. Um, turn the camera on. Now, one thing you do need to make sure is that the camera is focused. So, let me just check that's focused on something so it'll fire. Switch the unit on. Let's turn the sensitivity up a little bit. There we go. Right, so this time we're going to do a shutter release. So, arm the unit. And hopefully you heard that and you can see the picture it's taken on the back of that.